Let's go to another anthropic principle, another law that's been built into the universe, the design that allows that life can exist on Earth, and possibly only on Earth. Uh, I want you to watch this. Is, this has to do with uh, where the stars are actually formed and how they're formed and something about our sun. I want you to watch. Further out from Alpha Centauri, but still within our Milky Way galaxy, we also encounter hundreds of gas and dust clouds called nebulae. Their strikingly beautiful colors are created as the nebulae are ionized. Radiation from nearby large stars supercharges the electrons and sends them flying away from their atoms and molecules. As electrons escape from hydrogen atoms, they produce a red glow. As they leave oxygen atoms, they produce a blue-green glow. Gaseous nebulae may be described as stellar maternity wards. Our galaxy, called the Milky Way, is still giving birth to new stars. Our own sun is considered a late-born star, and as you'll see, life depends on that critical timing. Stars form within nebulae much the same way raindrops form within Earth's clouds. Gravity is a key factor gas and dust particles begin to pull together under gravity's influence. But as they do, more molecules collide, producing heat. As the particles continue coalescing, more and more heat results, especially at the core of that condensation. Eventually, the core becomes hot enough to ignite nuclear burning. At this ignition point, a new star is born. Since our sun also went through this type of birth process, most scientists classified it as an ordinary star. But several recent discoveries have caused astronomers to reconsider this assumption. Evidently, our sun is very rare indeed. Most stars are either too small or too big, too young or too old, contain too many metals or not enough metals. Our sun's radiation and its precise location in our galaxy are all critical factors for life. All right, you've been looking at some video clips from Journey Toward Creation, a, a video documentary that talks about how the universe came into existence and how it's been fine-tuned. And what you are watching is some of the anthropic laws that astronomers like Hugh Ross have found about our universe that point to the fact that God created.